Um, so I wanted to go back to the face turn with Dusty. I'm sure you've had, well, you've had questions probably every podcast you do about that. I will admit next month I turn 50 years old. I will watch that clip today and I get goosebumps when you enter the ring. Mm. That crowd literally explodes. I don't know if I've heard one, at least through TV, any louder. My question to you is, was that the loudest pop? I mean, normally when you were a heel, you didn't get much of a pop, but was that the loudest pop you ever received or were ever a part of, ever heard? Man, I, uh, I'm reminded of a, a recent story that somebody asked, Somebody asked Tony Schiavone this question. What, what, what show were you a part of that you remember that question, the, the loudest pop ever happening? To my understanding, Tony's, Tony Schiavone's response was the night Nikita turned babyface in the Charlotte Coliseum which I, I receive as a, if it's true, he said that I receive it as a tremendous compliment. There's no question the, the old expression, the roof came off the building. I mean, when the way we set it up and the way I pantomimed that, that whole turn in pausing in the door of the cage, if you, if you I'm sure remember, mm -hmm. and, and even trailing him to the ring, pausing for just a second before I even got in the door and then when I lit into to Ole, uh, Ole Anderson, and yeah, the place exploded. And then, and then, um, with the help of Dusty, once the one, two, three was over, that crowd, and and I don't think I'm exaggerating this. And and again, going back to the organic reaction of the crowd because of, of just what they experienced in the moment, um, they chanted my name for ten plus minutes. I mean, you want to talk about, I guess the right word there might be surreal. I mean, to just a month prior, I mean, they, they were throwing stuff at me. They were telling me, you know, you know, I was number one in their heart, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and, I mean, I, I, I was loved to be hated. They loved to hate me. And, and man, on a dot, we flipped them on a dot. I mean, there were guys in the audience, guys. They had their shirts off. And they were doing the most muscular, you know, like I would do at the end of interviews and stuff. I mean, it was surreal to be there and listen to them chant, Nakita, Nakita, you know, all that time. And, of course, flair coming down. And, and, and we did something there, too, just for your audience to understand that I doubt would, would ever be done again or could ever be done again because the Internet and everything else is there was, I could count, the number of guys that knew I was turning that night, you could count on one hand without and, and without one or two fingers. We told nobody. I didn't tell Ivan. I, you know, I was instructed not to say a word to anyone. We told no one. And I'm talking about every guy in the business. And that, it, uh, So it was a complete surprise, not just for you as a fan, for all the guys. Guys, dressing rooms as well. It was a complete surprise. So that would rank up there, yeah, by far, numero uno.